हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर कोडुलर बिगिनर सीरीज इन दिस क्लास फोर वी विल क्रिएट अ फन एंड इंटरक्टिव एप कॉल्ड एनिमल वर्ल्ड दिस एप विल शो एट बटन विद फोटोज ऑफ एनिमल्स वेन यू टैप ऑन अ बटन यूल हियर द साउंड दैट एनिमल मेक्स इट्स अ सिंपल एंड एक्साइटिंग प्रोजेक्ट परफेक्ट फॉर किड्स एंड बिगिनर्स लर्निंग कोडुलर So let's get started and build the Animal World app together. Let's download the assets needed to build this app from the link I've shared in the description first. Inside the folder named App 2, you will find two subfolders, one for images and one for sounds. The images folder contains pictures of eight animals. and the sound folder has the corresponding animal sound files in mp3 format now go back to the root folder named app2 and download the entire zip file after downloading extract the zip file to your project folder it could be on your desktop or anywhere else on your personal computer as your wish Now we have everything we need all eight animal images and their sounds are ready in separate folders on our PC Let's go to codular.io and create a new project Enter the project name as animal and give the same name for the app title animal Leave all other settings as they are and click on finish Once the project is created close the welcome dialog box that appears if any now first uncheck the title visible check box to hide the default app title from the top then change the phone layout to samsung galaxy s9 for better screen preview now let's start designing the app first drag and drop a button onto the designer canvas next click on the upload icon and then click on upload asset Choose the image file named cat.jpg from your computer. The cat image is now successfully uploaded into Codular. Set this image as the button image and you will see the cat picture appear on the button. To remove the default button text that says text for button, simply clear the text property of the button. Now, let's set the height of this button to 20% and width to 40% for better sizing. to place two buttons side by side drag a horizontal arrangement onto the screen set its width to fill parent and height to 22% then drag and drop the cat button into this horizontal arrangement now let's center the button inside the horizontal arrangement To do this, set both the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment properties of the horizontal arrangement to center. Next, make a duplicate of the cat button. To avoid confusion, rename button one as cat and button two as dog. Now upload the dog image the same way and assign it to the dog button. perfect now we have two animals done for the rest we can duplicate the entire horizontal arrangement to speed up the process now rename the newly added buttons as cow and horse then upload the images named cow.jpg and horse.jpg from your assets folder after uploading Set the cow image for the cow button and the horse image for the horse button. Now the buttons are visually updated with the correct animal pictures. Repeat the same steps for all other animals, duplicate, rename with the animal's name, upload the images and set them as button images for lion, sheep, elephant and donkey respectively. Now let's add a title for our app. drag and drop a label component into the top of our app ui set its width to fill parent give the text as animal world 
Set text alignment to center, make the font bold and set the font size to 30. Now our UI part is completed with a title and 8 buttons with animal images on them and the buttons have the right names to recognize them while developing the backend. Let's add a sound component into the canvas. On the top of the left side components menu, we have an option to search. Type and search for sound component there, then drag and drop the sound component into the canvas. Here we can see that the sound component is not displaying inside the smartphone layout since it is an invisible component as we discussed in the chapter 2 tutorial video. Here in the properties of the sound component, we have a text box with the title minimum interval in milliseconds. It is the time gap needed between playing two sounds. For example, if we have two sounds, one is a two-second barking sound of a dog and the other is a two-second roaring sound of a lion and if we click the dog button and immediately click the lion button, the barking sound will not play completely. This happens because the interval is set to 500 milliseconds. To solve this issue, we can set the interval to 2000 milliseconds which prevents the truncation of sound due to quick interactions with other buttons. This is just a sample use of the sound component discussed here. If we want multiple sounds to play simultaneously in our app, we can add multiple sound components just like we add buttons and labels. Next. We can upload all the 8 mp3 files from the assets folder into Codular one by one. After uploading all the sound files of the 8 animals, let's switch to the blocks section to develop the backend of our app. Click on the cat button from the left side menu and drag and drop when cat dot click do block into the canvas. Next, select sound from the left side menu then drag and attach the set sound1.source to block. Change the file name to cat.mp3 from the dropdown. Now we have set the source sound file for the cat button. Next, add a call sound1.play block into the cat.click block like this. Now we have successfully created the code for the cat button. Next, duplicate this entire block and update its button name and sound file source for cow. Repeat the same steps for dog, donkey, elephant, horse, lion and sheep. Here, our blocks are not aligned and look messy. To make them clean, simply right click and select clean up blocks. Now we can see all the blocks are neatly aligned. Next. We can connect the companion app using our smartphone and check the working of this app. Scan the QR code using the companion app and wait for a couple of minutes. Topics like how to use Codular Companion, how to connect with Codular Companion, etc. are discussed in Chapter 2 of our tutorial playlist. If you skip those sections, you may not be able to fully understand everything we are discussing here. Now our project is connected with the companion app. Let's test it by clicking on the 8 animal buttons one by one. Perfect. All buttons are working properly. If your app has any issues with sound playing or not playing, check for any mistakes in the backend code. Here in the companion screen, we can see there is no gap between the buttons. Next, we can make them look better and place them separately by modifying the UI. Let's switch back to the designer section. Select the first horizontal arrangement and change its background color to white or any color you like. Then check the Is Card option. Now, 
Add a space component from the right menu bar. Set its height to fill parent and width to 5%. Now the buttons in the first row look separated with a button-like appearance. Next, repeat the same steps for the remaining three horizontal arrangements as well. Now all eight buttons are looking neatly separated. Next, we can add a line under the title, Animal World. There are so many ways to do this particular task, but I am going to show the simplest one here. Drag and drop a horizontal arrangement under the title. Set its width to fill parent and height to 1 pixel. Next, update its background color to black. Now let's check the app's view in the companion screen. It looks like a fine line, so we can modify the thickness by updating the height of this horizontal arrangement to 5 pixels. At last, we can check the Is Card option to give the line's ends a rounded appearance. We have completely finished developing our app. Next, we can download the app as an APK file to install on our Android smartphone. Before building the APK file, disconnect the companion app from Codular to avoid the download blocking bug in Codular, which they may fix in the future. Next, click on Export Android app. Wait a couple of minutes. You can download the app to your smartphone by scanning the QR code or download it to your PC and later transfer it to your smartphone. In this class, we covered the following topics. In the front-end section, we added buttons with animal images, used horizontal arrangements for proper layout, renamed buttons to match each animal, added a title called Animal World, inserted a line under the title using a horizontal layout, and customized the background, spacing, and card styles to make the app look neat. In the backend section, we added a sound component, uploaded 8 animal sound files, set the sound source and play blocks for each animal, adjusted the minimum interval setting to avoid sound overlap, cleaned up the blocks for a tidy arrangement, and finally, tested our app using the Codular Companion. Thank you for watching this class. To keep learning, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to never miss a class. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to stay updated about our events such as giveaways, competitions, expos, placements, and more.